I'm documenting the accident that happened this morning, 34,000 Hood Canal Drive. Our, we ended up with a car in our front lawn this morning at 3:44. This is, uh, you can see the the tracks in the road. Looks like he was turning but not braking. Um, he's obviously going quite fast. Um, he made it between the laurel and the stop sign. Doesn't look like he hit either one of those two. There was two laurels in there that he did take out. Um, this is a fairly steep ditch that he made it through. Uh, that's There's a possibly a scrape here on the drive from him, but I don't know if that was from an earlier one or not. This is um, the ditch that he made it across. It's approximately two and a half to three feet deep. He took out that laurel and that one. Um, you can see right here, he took out a large section of our yard, which you'll see again in a minute up the driveway. There's parts of his car back here. Tree looked like he possibly, in here, um, lost one of the right tires, popped it off the rim. Um, you can see, goes right through here. See the track, went up through the driveway. Next to that chunk of laurels right up here, our Ford Excursion was backed in to that spot right there. He missed that by, had to be inches. You can see where the dirt starts to hit the pavement up here of the driveway. Um, he was, I'd say that's about 40 feet before the dirt came down. He must have been moving quite rapidly. You can see this little chunk of dirt and its dirt trail starts back here and uh, ends up there. The excursion tire was up against this piece, so as he went past the excursion, he would have. This would have come off of his car and stopped by our car. All the, most of these tracks are from the rescue vehicles and the tow trucks and everything else. Um, part of his uh, right side uh, mirror is over there on our, on our rack. You can see he came right through here. That's one of his driving lights. Um, this looks like this is where his right tire went. You turn around and look, you can see there's a, bl a black trail from tire coming up right through here. And this had to be where his right tire went. In the other video that our security camera got, you can see very clearly um, his left side would have just skirted uh, the concrete here and ramped off someplace around in here. Um, you can see right there was a 4x4 post that was over there in the yard. We moved it for the for the um, tow truck driver. Took out a large large portion of my of our handrail. As you can see that whole thing will have to be rebuilt. There's a post that it snapped off there that's going to have to be dug out. Um, the car ramped off of that ramp, flew through the air, you can see in the other video, um, above these bricks, so you know he was going pretty quick, and ran into the, hit the siding of the, of the house right here. I'm not sure exactly where he hit, that's obviously where a tire was. Um, you can see the black on the wall. The house is built out of concrete, styrofoam, and then hardy board. And you can see how it took off the hardy board all around the corner up to about there all the trim on the corner came right off and you can see there's some chips taken out of the concrete but I don't think there's any structural damage at least not that I can tell we'll probably have to have a structural engineer look at it um, took off knocked off part of the uh, downspout there after he bounced off the side of the house the left front tire appears to have taken all of the the um, garden with it. You can see there's bricks scattered quite a ways. That divot there is from his right front tire. This divot here is from his right rear tire. The interesting thing is you can tell over here where his left tire was 
if you look closely at the direction of the, the grass and which way that tire was spinning, he was trying to back out of our yard after he ran into the house. But obviously the, that, that vehicle wasn't going anywhere. So you can see lots and lots of front end car parts all over. Um, we found over there in the bushes was part of our the end cap off of the uh, handrail to our house. There's styrofoam pieces all the way over here. Quad lock over there. Um, you can see it took out a, one of my wife's favorite uh, um, uh, whatever that is. She's got quite a bit. But at any rate, lots of that. Lots of debris that will be hard to clean up. There's some dripping oil off the ground. Off of the bottom of his car, I'm sure. Quite the ride. He came through between the stop sign and the laurel and ended up here in our front yard. Not a good way to wake up in the morning. <laughs>